what's up Bali, how you guys doing? Apa kabar? And selamat pagi. Do you wanna have a hotel like this? A villa like that by the jungle? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how you as a foreigner can have a hotel, can have a villa, can have a resort like this in Bali. So, watch this video until the end. My name is Oki Misa, I'm your host in Bali. Look at that, man. Look at that. Look at that. You know, when they made this, they put it one by one. One by one. It's an art. Look. All the way there. Can you imagine that? Need a really patient to do that. All the way there. Okay, guys. Before we begin, because this topic is quite serious, let's find a place that not hot which I can sit down and focus and okay let's find a place I think let's go to the lobby guys have you seen my last two video yep this one and this one if you haven't go watch that video first I mentioned the link down in the description go watch that video first and then come back to this video because that video is about how you as a foreigner got the PMA and the business classification and this video is about the business after the PMA so better if you watch that video first and then come back to this video okay now let's assume that you already watched those two videos so let's continue with this video it's how you as a foreigner own a business like a hotel resort a villa restaurant here in Bali okay I'm gonna tell you step by step based on my knowledge and my experience if you want to do business here in Bali let's say a hotel or commercial villa first you need to come to Bali with the B211A visa this is why because with the B211A visa you can stay here in Bali for quite a long time as long as you extend every 60 days so if you come with the visa on arrival you have the limitation of 60 days right meanwhile to, to open up a business here you have to do a lot of things you a lot of preparation like you have to find a good location and then you have to know you have to go back and forth to the notary to know that the business scope and if there's a problem what is the solution etc that's why I always suggest first come to Bali with the B211A visa okay is it hard to find a land well for sure you cannot choose the land based only the, the the view and the location like for instance oh it's close to the beach it's perfect and the price is not expensive it's perfect price perfect location no it's not only that you have to go more deep for that first you have to make sure that your land is located in the zone that you can build a villa or hotel second of all you have to make sure the soil of the land because there's some part of Bali which is have a really hard rock there and also there's some part of Bali which have a really uh, wet um, soil so you know you have to make sure the soil the ground is perfect for you to to build a hotel or a villa on it otherwise the price to build it is gonna be expensive and also the ownership because there's some land here in Bali even used by a local but actually that land is belong to the village so one day that land must be returned to the village so I have to make sure that that land is really belong to a person okay let's say now you got your land what you should do next after you got your land after you calculate the the, the cost to to build a villa or hotel there then we do your PMA your limited liabilities company with a foreign investment your legal body your your company and then from there we produce your investor kita so you can stay here for two years and extend it and extend it okay do we need a PMA can we just you know rent a place rent a villa and then when we're not using it we rent it out to somebody else yes you can but by law you cannot because you are not allowed to earn money to earn money that means you do a business and for that you need a PMA if you just rent the place for your personal use then it's okay but when you start earning some income you know getting profit then it's something else if they found out there will be a problem but yes it's true there's a lot of foreigners do that they rent a villa for two years and then they rent it out again sometimes they don't even here in Bali so they just hired somebody to take care of the villa and then they send guests to rent it out but again by law actually it's not allowed so for the hotel for sure you need the PMA besides oh there's a phone call 
phone call. I'll be back. Hi guys, I'm back in the Pasar now. Now it's already four o'clock. Having my cup of coffee in my small kitchen. Mm. All right, where were we? Oh yeah, we were talking about the land. Okay, can foreigner buy land? Can a foreigner buy property? You must hear this often that no, no, foreigners cannot buy land, cannot buy property. You only can rent it. Well, here it is. This gonna surprise you. Yes, foreigners can buy land. Yep, you heard me right. Foreigners can buy land. But, but, listen up, but you're not gonna get a freehold certificates. The freehold certificate is only for Indonesian citizens, only for local. So if you buy land, even if it's already with freehold certificate, it will be downgrade to HGB. Yes, to HGB. If you translate it, it's like the right to use or the right to build. It's one level below freehold. So if you have a PMA, you can buy land. But the certificate is not freehold, but it's the right to build. It's HGB. It's also some kind of ownership. But the difference with the freehold is the HGB have a time limitation. You can only have it for 30 years and then you can extend for another 20 years. Maximum, you only can have it for 80 years. Ah, okay, so that means it's renting, not owning. Yep. How about if I tell you this? If you have this HGB certificate, the right to use, you can sell the land. If you can sell the land, that means you buy the land. Aha! The only difference is with the freehold. Freehold is forever, okay? It's forever. As long as you not sell it, it's forever yours. But if it's HGB, HGB certificate, only maximum 80 years. But you still can sell it though. If the buyers is in recent citizen, they can then upgrade again to freehold. But if the buyers is not a foreigner, then it will still in AGB. But you can sell it. So you buy it, that means you can sell it. And one more thing, if the AGB, the certificate, it will be in your name. It's your name there on the certificate. If you rent the land, it will be the owner name. And you can loan the money to the bank with that land certificate. So now it's up to you. You can just rent the land, which is cheaper, okay? But you cannot do anything with it, you only can use it, or you buy the land. With that certificate, you can get loan from the bank, or who knows, in five years, you decided to go back to your country, you can just sell the land with your certificate. I know some people get confused because with this certificate, it also have time limitation, 30 years, and then extend 20 years, and another 30 years. It's just more or less the same like renting, but the difference is renting is just renting. But this one is buying, even with time limitation. It will be your name in the certificate and you can sell it. More detail, contact your notary. Think it over, think it over. Rent it, buy it. Rent it, buy it. If I were you and if I got the money, I'd rather buy it. Because, you know, let's say in 10 years and I decided to go back to my country, I can just sell the land. I mean, in 10 years, the value of this land will be multiplied by then. So, I think we we'll hear about the land, okay? If you want more details, go to your notary, not to me, because they have a special degree for it, man. I don't have a notary degree. Okay, let's talk about hotel now. First, let me classify type of accommodation there exists in Indonesia. First, you got Pondok Wisata, it's like a guest house, homestay, you know. And then you have a youth hostel, and then you have a villa. You got non-star hotel, here we call it Hotel Melati. One star, two stars, three stars and above. Now for Pondok Wisata, is close for foreigners for PMA is only for local. If you heard foreigners have a guest house or homestay, must they use a nominee agreement, which we're gonna talk in the next video. And then we got the non-star hotel. For non-star hotel, it cannot 100% owned by foreigners. Must be share with a local. Local minimum have 33% of the total share. Then you can have non-star hotel, the hotel Melati. And for the 100% owned by foreigners, by the PMA must be Three star hotel minimum. So three star hotel and above. Four star, five star, luxury hotel. So okay, how much do you think we need if you wanna build a hotel or a resort which fill in the requirement for the PMA? Well, everyone have their own way, but I'm the one who do it. I can do around 1.5 million US dollars on 4,000 square meter land, rented for 30 years, 16 room deluxe, nine villas, and based on my experience and calculation, the return on investment will be in year two. This is how I'm doing it. Okay, okay, hotel is too big. I just want to do villa. 
one villa at a time. That is so possible, but if I'm not mistaken, villa also only for small business, only for local. Let me check, okay? Let me check to the, um, let me check to the, uh, you know, yesterday, remember, standard classification? Let's go with villa, and here, look. It's written there. It's written there that all business within the scope of activities of Kabeli are allowed to cooperation micro, small, and medium enterprise. So, not for the PMA, man. But there's a way to do it. I heard you just need to have the uh, hospitality management consult. Yeah, hospitality management consultant. So you lease land or buy land, build a villa there, and then rent it. With this business classification, you can have more than one villa and you can also have in multiple locations. Again, check with your notary, okay? I, I don't have the notary degree. But see what I mean? See what I mean? That's why you need to come to Bali first with the B2 LMNA visa. Stay here like three, six months. See the market, see all the possibilities, see all the threat and everything. Double check the land, think it over, rent it or buy the land. Thinking and think it over before you sign the paper and put your money there. Especially for you who doesn't have a local partner to help you. Stay three months, six months, you know, then decide. In the next video, I want to talk about how you as a foreigners own a restaurant here in Bali. As you saw, term and condition and the steps. So share this video so more and more people know about this news that foreigners actually can buy and sell property. Hit the subscribe button for those who haven't and smash the notification bell so you don't miss any update from me regarding how to travel to Bali, how to do business in Bali and Bali latest regulation. My name is Okimisa, signing off from Bali. See ya.